Right, Sunny Bonani, everybody, and Johnny. Uh, it's Mr. B, and we are busy with the Pat Phase 3, um, and with specifically the HTML, and we're going to be looking at creating this second page. All right, guys, and um, I hope you've been following along with the other videos as well, and uh, please like and subscribe, guys, um, if you're enjoying this. Um, I really, really appreciate that. Helps me build the channel. And you know what, guys? It doesn't cost anything to do that. So, you know what? Let's do this for the old man on your side. You know what I'm saying? Okay, guys. Let's have a look at this. Right. The second page. This is on page 25 of the PAT. A document from the department and if you are using the search at the top it's number 27 i always tend to forget that number somewhere 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 you know you, you just lose it but anyway okay right good so guys the second page now remember there had to be three pages okay guys so what i want to do quickly is just show you again i'm going to go into my pack here and i was busy with phase three and sadly at this point i've only got one page because I completed off the home page. So we're still missing another two pages. Okay, are you guys happy with that? Because there may be three. All right. And if I double click this home page, let's just have a look at it. That is where I left off in the previous video. Now, again, guys, this you need to change and build as what you feel. All right. Remember, you are ultimately the web developer. All right. And you will become that. Um, hopefully, you'll take careers in this. And, you know, it should be a passion of yours to try and do this. Right. So we've also got these three buttons now. Now, I said I'm going to have three pages. My home. I'm going to concentrate on the findings now. All right. Which is going to be my page two. And then page three is going to be the conclusion. All right. Now, let's just look at some of the things that we have brought in in phase uh, sorry, in the home page of this HTML. Right, um, where are we going to get marks? Um, typically headings, right? Uh, navigation. We've got three pictures. We've got um, captions. We've got heading styles, right? And if I learn further here, we've got a nice little um, a footer. But not only that, we've got a table and the abstract is in the table. So that is what I owe. And then a nice color background. All right, so when we start looking at the rubric, let's remember what we've done. Things that are missing, guys, this is what I want to make key facts about now. All right, so if you don't mind, I'm going to go back to my um, document here, right? And if, guys, you don't mind, I'm going to type right on top of this. Right, guys, um, when we look at page two, did we not do numbered, numbered lists? Okay, yes. Like that I haven't included in my pack yet. Um, I also have not done maybe a bulleted list. Okay, right. So those are some added things that I need to consider when I'm looking at my information. So before I've read any of this, guys, I'm considering what I've put in. Right. Um, video maybe would be nice. Okay, so I'm just making these little notes and guys, you should do this with your pet if you've got the original document, you know, scratch on it and do what you must do. It's your document. Okay, so I'm quite happy to say, right, I'm missing a numbered list, bulleted list, maybe video. Um, I'm also missing um, references, maybe, hey guys, references um, to um, external links. So let's just go external links maybe might be nice to give the people um, some more information about this actual project and where you found your information okay so quite important that guys all right so i'll keep this video a little bit short and i'll say right guys let's read through this now and you know take out pen and paper and sketch yourself what you want on this page okay right so i'm going to move this up here just for now because that is important for me right and let's read this right good quality and factually correct information is what they want from your planning and summary document okay so guys this this information is coming from your phase two okay and if you don't mind i'm just going to draw over here two right because you've analyzed stuff there okay you guys happy with that about your topic and your investigation. 
Right, the information should be well structured using appropriate web design principles and techniques such as headings. All right, so we need to add headings, paragraphs, lists. Okay, isn't that coming up here? Right, there we go. Sorry about my very skew arrow. Good heavens. <laughs> Guys, you could laugh with me. Okay, I would laugh too. All right, um, lists. Right, and we've got HR. We've used some of them, but yes, they want that on page two. Right, etc. Okay, right. At least three facts they want from your summaries. Now, guys, we summarized questions already, five plus five. So they want you to please use three appropriate facts. Okay, you can do more, but they want three facts. Okay, so three of those questions that you summarized, you're going to put that in. And where you are giving them the findings and the graphs, um, uh, results of queries maybe. Okay, and the focus area investigation. Okay, that's quite a bit there. So keep your planning right, guys. Else you're going to lose the marks. Okay, right. Relevant information must be grouped together using appropriate headings. Okay, sec or sections to ensure information flows logically and coherently. Okay, very important there. Okay, guys. Right. Um, guys, if you hear some birds outside, it sounds like... A wild mating call um, that sounds horrid what I've just said but yes I cannot control the birds outside but yes it is what it is all right uh, so just ignore them they must be having domestics right reference the information you share by hyperlinking so guys I didn't even read this um, and there you can see reference I've put it in there already because you know if you don't you got to acknowledge your sources remember that through all your phases okay um, you found on the internet and hyperlink to additional good quality information where appropriate. Okay, so guys, that is what you need to focus on. So, grab that pen and paper and write yourself down. Draw, again, uh, um, a little square. And I can say, all right, I've got my navigation over here. Um, so if you don't mind, I'm just going to go into PowerPoint, guys. Sometimes PowerPoint works well for me. Let's go Power, PowerPoint. Okay, right, happily go there. And I'm just going to pick a blank slide here. And I'm going to play that this is my web page. All right, I'm going to leave it horizontal. But yes, I would say, right, I've got one button over there. And we know what that button is going to be. Okay, so... I'm just kind of like sketching that out. So there's home, there's findings. You know what I'm trying to say? Let's draw ourselves a line across here, which breaks the navigation. Okay, there. And now we're going to say findings. Okay, so just briefly, you've got to decide on yourself again where you want to do this. So let's go findings, findings. Okay, and we can say, all right, what do we want to do here? How would we like to lay this out? Okay, so maybe here I need to have a question, right? A question, one of the questions that we analyzed, question, okay? And there would be, with that question, we can have that there nicely, and then maybe your finding that you had. So you've analyzed it. So let me go, your um, analysis, okay, is gonna appear here, okay, as a paragraph. Okay, and maybe what we can do is also add in a nice little picture here, which might be a graph, a graph, okay, which is nice, okay, um, of your Excel. Um, and again, remember now that you can pick um, access as well. You don't just have to use um, um, Excel. Okay, guys, right, so that, that, would be a quite a nice little layout there maybe um, then with this analysis um, of this could I consider and I'm going to do this bullets bullets are easier for people to understand than writing a whole paragraph especially on a website Okay, guys, so let's consider when we're doing this one we're going to do the question we're going to analyze it but give it to them in bullet form all right, are you guys happy? And why? Do, where did that come from, guys? I looked here at my pet, and yeah, I could see yeah, I could consider numbered lists here. Yeah, they are. Okay, numbered lists or bulleted lists. 
and they want it in paragraphs or add more horizontal lines um, and things like that. All right, then let's go back again and let's look at our little PowerPoint. And I'm going to say, all right, um, question is great. Let's add another question here then. Right, good. Now, again, that's up to you. So that's question one. Question two. Um, so let's just assume this is question one. All right, and you've got to answer that nicely. Question two, because this is findings. All right, and again, we're going to do an analysis. All right, and maybe we can use um, a different style, but watch out. Guys, don't play too much with different styles of bullets. Try and keep it uniform. All right, we've done bullets now. All right, so maybe we can consider this one to be a numbered list, a numbered, numbered list. Okay, that might help us. Okay, and again, you can decide now, all right, maybe I want to get again a graph from Excel, and I'm going to put it here maybe. So I've got this, you know, cross-linked um, page that's appearing there. Maybe even, guys, you can even create columns if you wanted to. So you could go findings one, uh, question finding two. It's up to you. All right. Or let's stick with the picture here, two there. And we can maybe do a third one where our alignment is now, where the picture appears here. That's number three, question number three, and question number four. So you, you understand what I'm trying to say, guys. Okay, if you don't mind, I know this is a bit smaller now. All right, and remember, guys, very important. Um, let's put in um, the word here for caption again. Caption. They love captions. Okay, so that should be there. Oh, sorry, guys. Created a new one. A caption there should be there. Another caption here under this one. So you need to have that in. All right, then, guys, can we, can we, in this, add references? Absolutely. Okay, so let's give a reference to this, and I'm going to add this in underneath. So, guys, I'll sort this out now. References, references, which are going to be hyperlinks, uh, hyperlinks, links to that content. Okay, so this question will actually come down a little bit. Sorry, guys. Sometimes it works with and sometimes it doesn't. Right, question two. Right, and we said um, we're going to do question three underneath that. Um, so question three should be over here. Just copy this for you. All right, question three. So can you see how handy it is maybe to use uh, PowerPoint or another software package just to get you... Um, a fay with the coding and to make sure everything is in and again you can use bullets again guys they're not telling you you've got a limit on the amount of bullets that you use but i then again guys reference it now you know right i have referenced that i've referenced that um and you're not in breach of copyrights and plagiarism and all those kind of funny things right let me bold this one let's bold this one okay and let's bold this one so guys do you get the idea about how i would unpack this all right and again you can look at colors you can look at different pictures and even if you wanted to hyperlink from the graph uh, to your data um, in your excel spreadsheets you're welcome to do that all right so at least i've got some form of plan that i could use to lay out my web page for the findings are you happy with that guys so take some time look at your phase one and phase two i would suggest sorry in this case findings is your phase two and write down some bullets on the information that you found analyze it short three or four five little bullets where you are bringing out your findings put a little graph in so save your graph from excel as a jpeg or do a screenshot okay or snipping tool um, on your graph save it in the in the folder and then you can import or you can bring that into your website are you guys happy ladies and gentlemen let me know give me a like give me a 
Give me, tell me what, I, um, what you feel. Do you think this is going to work for you? Are you happy with that? All right. See you in the next video. This is awesome. Salani Gasli. I'm Bunny Gasli. And see you in the next one.